This is the formation of hypochlorous acid and sodium hypochlorite and acetic acid. See in the first reaction we start with sodium hypochlorite and then we add the acetic acid. The oxygen and the sodium hypochlorite attacks the hydrogen on the acetic acid. The electrons in this hydrogen bond on the acetic acid will then go back to the oxygen. This gives the oxygen a negative charge. The positive sodium anion you see will then be attracted to the negatively charged oxygen in the acetic acid. The final product of this reaction we will, will produce hypochlorous acid. This is the mechanism for the oxidation of isoboronyl by hypochlorous acid. The starting products of this reaction are isoboronyl and hypochlorous acid. The oxygen in isoboronyl will attack the chlorine in the hypochlorous acid, thus putting all of the shared electrons onto the oxygen. This will give the oxygen on isoboronyl a positive charge, and it will also form hydroxide. Then, an oxygen molecule in water will attack the hydrogen on the oxygen of isoboronyl. This gets rid of oxygen's positive charge and forms hydronium. Next, another oxygen on a water molecule comes and attacks the hydrogen beside the oxygen on isoboronyl. The electrons from the, the hydrogen are pushed off onto the bond of oxygen, making a double bond. This causes chlorine to leave and become an anion. The final product is camphor.